We don't know much about the actual musicians who traveled around relieving the spider's bite's symptoms. In Kircher's Magnes Sive de Arte Magnetica, we read that the Tarantella musicians in the place Taranto were public officials with a wage from the city, so the poorest citizens could also be cured by their music. In other places, playing the Tarantella was a great summer job, being paid for each patient's relieved symptoms on the go. According to Bocone, the Mousset and drum players would also branch out in pranks and other clown-like activities. Sounds like lots of fun. In 1876, researcher De Simone from Salento interviewed two in Salento famous musicians, Donata dell'Anna di Arnesano, a tambourine player, and Francesco Mazzotta di Novoli, a violinist. Mazzotta was a blind man who had cured people for 30 years every summer traveling through the lands. He tells the Simone that the music is learned from generation to generation and that the village has its own violin maker for the Tarantella players. We know more about which instruments were played. At the end of the 15th century, the traveler Alessandro d'Alessandro heard bagpipes or lutes evict the Tarantati's venom. He also mentions the flute and tambourine. Kircher describes various wind and plucked string instruments bagpipes, bombard, lyre, guitar, dulcimer, hardy-gurdy, all accompanied by tambourines and drums. He also writes that certain Tarantati had a preference for certain instruments or instrument combinations. Some of them were particularly sensitive to the rhythmic blows of percussion instruments, others to singing accompanied by the trumpets, and others liked lyre, zithers and harpsichords. And some of them would just go to an instrument and look at it in transportation. Boccone writes in 1697 about the bagpipe, flute, musette de Francesi, probably a type of oboe, Chiaramelli de Siciliani, I think that's a tambourine, and a war drum roughly touched by one who beats him up and down with clubs. In the end of the 18th century in Spain, Don Francisco Xavier Cid explains that the tarantella can be played with the vihuela, the violin, or other instruments. This also shows that, naturally, musicians played the tarantella on the instrument that was available to them. In the 18th century, the violin and tambourine seemed to become the main instruments. For example, Stefano Storace writes for the Gentleman's Magazine that in Torre Annunziata, the preacher normally dealt with taranto cases on his violin. The musicians mentioned earlier in the Simone's research were also violin and tambourine players. Generally, there seems to have been a trend from more variety in, in instrumentation to less variety, the later we get in time. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this one, have a look at some other ones that focus on how to improvise the tarantella um, or many other subjects in classical music improvisation.